Good evening, everyone. It truly is an honor to share my Lee University story with you all and to give you a glimpse into what this journey has meant to me. As I think most of the graduates here would attest to, the thought of having to condense my college experience into a short five-minute blurb has been daunting. This beautiful story could take hours to share. However, as I've reflected on the past four years at Lee, there's not one particular day, hour, or moment that changed my life. Instead, what comes to mind are what I would call divinely ordinary moments. Moments that were so simple, they just seemed ordinary. But it is only as I look back that I see how these moments divinely changed and impacted the course of my life. I look back now on graduation weekend, and I realize that there is something divinely beautiful about these simple moments and how the compilation of ordinary moments throughout ordinary days makes up an extraordinary story. Ordinary moments like the sunny October day, my first semester at Lee, when I just went to meet with Dr. John Coates about a paper for class. I left the human humanities building that day and I declared my major as history. Dr. Coates' simple sentence, you would make a great history major, changed the course of my college career. The history professors at Lee have seen and cultivated a love in me that I didn't even know was there. I've learned to love the study of people through culture and time. I've learned to appreciate the risky journey of intellectual thought, and I've grown to love viewing life as one gigantic story. I've learned that many of my hard questions are still worth asking, even though they will always be unanswerable. Who knew that a divinely simple moment with a history professor could take a lifelong passion of mine and develop it into my college major? I look back and I think about the ordinary chilly day in November when I sat in my little gray Acura next to the vest building and I prayed that God would give me a job. Fifteen minutes later, I would walk into the admissions office and my admissions counselor asked me if I wanted to interview for a tour guide position. She saw something in me and in a divinely simple moment, she changed the course of my college career. For the last three and a half years, I worked at that little blue house on the corner of Ocoee Street. My job at the admissions office has taught me how to confidently lead others, how to empathize with prospective students and their families, and how to convey and communicate my Lee University story with vulnerability, honesty, and humor. Little did I know that that divinely simple prayer I prayed on that chilly November day would be answered so quickly and so masterfully. I reminisce today about the ordinary school day late in late spring of my freshman year when I learned of an unexpected opening and made a rash decision to take the England-Scotland trip. A trip that is usually sold out early in the fall suddenly had space for one more. A divinely simple moment. A decision that would change my life. It was on that trip that I would recommit my life to Christ on the small island of Iona in Scotland. On this trip, I would also learn the importance of staying with your group, and I would learn to love and yearn for the slow, intellectual pace of European culture. My love for Europe has grown since that trip my freshman year, and as a result, I'm thrilled to say that in July, I'll be moving from the U.S. to start a job in London for a year. I have hundreds, if not thousands, of these divinely simple moments. These events, which in the moment didn't seem to be wildly significant, but when put together, make this extraordinary story my story. I'm sorry. Sharing monthly coffee dates with Dr. Luan Stout, a sign language professor who turned into a great friend. Processing a difficult incident with other residential life chaplains, which led to a greater understanding of life and all of its difficulties and see simple email correspondence with a visiting Lee University professor who introduced me to my new job in London. Getting on my knees to pray with my roommates for a house with a porch swing, which led to the perfect home for our divinely ordained community. Zumba dance parties, water fights, tear-stained countertops, community dinners, and communion in apartment 205 in Storms Hall. These, and many more, are all ordinary moments which have shaped who I am. In these divinely simple moments, God placed people in my path who recognized a gift or talent in me, who spoke into my life and my future, who encouraged me and who changed me. 
He placed opportunities before me to learn, to grow, to travel, and to work. I know that my life will hold many, many more divinely ordinary moments. I pray that he allows me to recognize some of them while they're happening, but I know that more often than not, these events will appear to be significant only when I am looking back. I will never be able to fully put into words how faithful God has been in leading me these four years. The golden cord that streams through my extraordinary story is the grace and faithfulness of an all-knowing God. Graduates, I'm praying for all of us that we would, as we leave this place, we would have ears to hear and eyes to see as God reveals himself to us in divinely ordinary moments. Thank you.